Have you ever wondered why this tiny territory, barely visible on the map, holds such immense value for a global power like the UK? What secrets does Gibraltar hide that make it a focal point of international intrigue? We'll uncover why Gibraltar, a mere 2.6 square miles in size, is a key asset for the UK. You'll learn about Gibraltar's pivotal role in global trade, its unique position near the Strait of Gibraltar, and how this impacts the UK's economy and security. It's time to find out why Gibraltar is the most important place in the UK. Situated on the southern part of the Iberian Peninsula, Gibraltar is a small territory that faces the Mediterranean Sea to the south and borders the Spanish mainland to the north. It is an extremely small region, spanning merely 2.6 square miles in area, but its economic performance is quite remarkable for its size. Gibraltar bustles with economic activity all year round, from a robust financial sector handling billions of pounds in assets, to shipping and port services like bunkering. This small territory has money coming in from many directions. But here comes a pressing question. Why is Gibraltar important for the UK? To answer it, let's travel back over 300 years to the beginning of the 18th century. Back then, Gibraltar was part of the Kingdom of Spain. But this changed in 1704, when a combined Anglo-Dutch fleet led by Sir George Rook captured the place. Nine years later, in 1713, Spain officially gave Gibraltar away to Britain under the Treaty of Utrecht as part of the deal to end the War of Spanish Succession. Three centuries later, Gibraltar is still with Britain, now as a British overseas territory. However, the battle is still on. Spain still wants to regain control of the area and the UK knows better than to give it up. Now, you might wonder, what makes this tiny piece of land so special? Well, the answer is simple, its unique location. Gibraltar lies just a few kilometers northeast of the Strait of Gibraltar, which is the only natural link between the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. It is one of the busiest trade routes in the world, with over 20% of the global sea trade passing through it. Now you can imagine the power it gives to Gibraltar and ultimately the country that controls it. With Gibraltar under its belt, the UK benefits from the trade that passes through the strait. Moreover, the place also acts as a crucial military and naval base for the UK. In fact, Gibraltar has proved to be vital to British defence in the past. During the Second World War, Britain and the other allies used Gibraltar to control the strait and prevent enemies from entering the Mediterranean region. The Rock of Gibraltar also served as a fortress and saved the British from enemy attacks. Fast forward to today, things are pretty peaceful in this region. However, the UK continues to reap the benefits of the trade that still passes through the strait. Let's see how. Over 120,000 ships pass through this strait every year. Oil, gas, merchandise, mineral, steel. You name it. The strait facilitates the supply of essential goods to many EU countries from the other side of the Atlantic. With Gibraltar standing right near the strait like a welcoming dock, the UK directly gets a trade boost. But the thing is, it's not just Gibraltar's maritime trade that the UK benefits from. Gibraltar also has a thriving shipping sector, driven by a range of essential services. It offers bunkering, ship registration, logistical support and port operations services. In fact, the Gibraltar port is one of the largest bunkering ports in the Mediterranean. In 2021, this port delivered over 4.3 million tonnes of bunkers to 5,500 ships. Guess who benefits from all this business? Yes, the UK. And if that's not enough, here comes a third key factor. Security. While a severe warlike situation seems unlikely anytime soon, Gibraltar is still an important military and defence base for the UK. It gives the UK access to information passing through the Mediterranean along with the trade. Put simply, having Gibraltar is just as much about security and intelligence for the UK as it is about trade and business. It's no wonder the UK wants to keep Gibraltar as a strategic location for its naval operations. Besides, it's not just the UK that benefits from Gibraltar. 
it's also the other way round. Gibraltar enjoys its British overseas territory status due to its long-standing history of economic collaboration with the UK. From April 2022 to March 2023, the trade between the UK and Gibraltar totaled a whopping £7.2 billion. At this value, Gibraltar is the UK's 37th largest trading partner during this period. £7.2 billion may not feel like a very large amount, but think of it this way. Gibraltar is not even 0.5% of the size of London, and has a population of barely 34,000 people. For a territory this small, that's a huge amount. The UK also receives services from Gibraltar, not just trade. For example, the country heavily relies on Gibraltar for insurance services. Over a third of all motor policies in the UK are written in Gibraltar. To sum up, the UK needs Gibraltar, and Gibraltar needs the UK. In fact, the Gibraltarians have made themselves very clear. They want Gibraltar to remain a British overseas territory. In 1967, as many as 99% of Gibraltarians voted in a first ever referendum to remain under British control. Decades later, in 2002, another referendum produced the same result. Clearly, the people of Gibraltar have no second thoughts about their close ties with the UK. And as we have already discussed, they have good reasons to back their thoughts. But there is a twist in the story. The role of Spain. It doesn't quite favour Gibraltar's British overseas territory status. And guess what? Spain has got some reasons too. Gibraltar is separated from Spain by a 1.7 km long border with just two entry points. One for pedestrians and another for vehicles. Every day some 15,400 workers travel across the border to work in Gibraltar. Gibraltar needs these workers to double its workforce and keep its economy up and running, while the workers from Spain get better jobs with better pay on the other side of the border. These workers come from Andalusia, Spain's southernmost territory, which is infamous for its high debt rates and low per capita income. Given these adverse situations, Gibraltar has become a natural choice for these workers who can't find better opportunities in their homeland. However, Spain has its list of concerns about Gibraltar. Many officials in Spain point out discrimination against Spanish workers. They say the workers from Spain don't get as many retirement benefits as their Gibraltarian counterparts, who get an additional support from community-based charities in Gibraltar. Moreover, Spain also alleges that Gibraltar's uber-lucrative tax rates and a lack of proper measures attract fraudsters and thieves and promote money laundering. Besides, they also have concerns about tobacco smugglers. One third of Gibraltar's budget is funded by import duty on cigarettes. Much of these cigarettes are then smuggled into Spain through the border, causing significant losses to their country. To tackle these concerns, Spain wants harder border checks so it can monitor the movement of people and goods across the border. In fact, the country has a more ambitious dream – to take full control over Gibraltar. Even after 300 years of the Treaty of Utrecht, Spain has not given up on Gibraltar yet. It wants it back, no matter what the Gibraltarians say. Amid this geopolitical chaos, Spanish workers and Gibraltarians are hit the most. Before Brexit, Gibraltar was the only British overseas territory that was also a member of the European Union. In the 2016 Brexit referendum, 96% of Gibraltarians voted to remain in the EU. Yet, since the UK voted in favour of Brexit, Gibraltar also had to leave. This has since placed Gibraltar in a sea of uncertainties. Since Gibraltar is no longer an EU member, Spain can go for a hard border and stricter border checks. This can be a big blow to the 15,400 Spanish workers who have to cross the border every day for work. Brexit also affected Gibraltar's trade with the EU countries. Gibraltar lost around 10% of its financial services business with EU countries. Amid these uncertainties, the EU and the UK have been in over a dozen rounds of talk since Brexit to work something out in the favour of the workers. 
but so far the talks have borne no fruit. Fortunately, the current socialist-led government in Spain has so far been keen on minimising tensions at the border. However, the harsh truth remains the same. Until Gibraltar gets a permanent solution, its fate depends on the Spanish government. And that, in itself, is concerning. What's your opinion on Gibraltar's situation? Should Gibraltar be insured cross-border mobility or a special EU status? Or should it be made a part of Spain against the wishes of Gibraltarians? Can there be a better way to deal with this situation? Comment down your thoughts below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel if you love learning about such international economic and geopolitical situations.